we finally have Blade on 4K Blu-ray. And yes, Blade is one of the coolest Marvel superheroes, if you ask me. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the whole 4K disc. I'll be reviewing the audio quality, the picture quality, and I have some screen caps for comparison as well. So do stick around. Hello and welcome to the Boutique Blu-rays YouTube channel. My name's Elliot and this channel is all about collecting Blu-rays. Blade has just been released on 4K Blu-ray and I was really excited for this one, you guys, because I have some real nostalgia of watching this movie in the late 90s, way younger than I should have been watching it. And just thinking Blade was one of the coolest action heroes I've ever seen. I was just obsessed with the fight sequences, particularly that bloodbath sequence at the start of the movie, which I'm going to talk about in a bit. So let's just get straight into the review. So with this 4K disc, it did come with this slip cover, which I'll just place to one side. Inside the packaging itself, you get a 4K UHD disc and you do get the standard Blu-ray. Special features wise on the 4K disc, there is just the audio commentary with the cast and the crew. But then on the Blu-ray, there are some extra features, some behind the scenes production kind of things. So let's talk about the video. And I must say, I am quite pleased indeed with this disc. I had a lot of fun watching this movie and getting this review prepared for you guys. With this 4K image, I'm glad to say that there is a noticeable uptick in detail. I didn't even think the older Blu-ray was that bad, but they really have gone and increased the detail that you can see in the image. You can particularly see this in close-ups of faces. And yes, there is some digital noise reduction, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But just in terms of detail and clarity in this 4K picture, there is a noticeable difference. In this particular shot, which I won't give the context for because I don't want to spoil the movie in case you've not seen it, but you can see more detail in this frame. They've actually made the frame slightly larger so you're getting more information in the frame. And if we close up have a look at Blade himself, you can see more fine detail in his skin and in his outfit. There's just more detail in this frame overall. And this is a good example of how it looks throughout the movie. In most sequences, you can see more detail when comparing it to the older Blu-ray. This 4K disc does utilize HDR, but it's probably not going to blow you away in terms of the spectrum of colors on display and the peak brightness, because this is a film that is mostly set at night. It's a story about vampires. So there is a lot of darkness in this movie. That said, the contrast between the lighter colors and then the, the darker blacks in this movie it is definitely highlighted by this HDR grade. I particularly noticed it within Blade's outfit, his leather jacket, particularly when the light was reflecting off it. You could definitely see more detail and it, it was rather pleasing to me. The film is known for having an icy blue tint to it, which gives it a very muted effect in terms of its colour palette. And that was a stylistic choice from the filmmakers, and I think it is used to great effect. It just means the film isn't the most colourful movie out there. But in sequences such as the bloodbath rave scene, there's a lot of red in that scene and it, it really is colourful. So you do get moments of intense colour. I also noticed this in the sequence in the vault with the vampiric Bible. There was a lot of yellows and golds on display there and the colours looked absolutely great in that scene. In terms of negatives, I only have a few bad things to say about the visuals. Digital noise reduction is present on this release and it's kind of become an unavoidable thing with a lot of these 4K releases, particularly from Warner Brothers. If you're not familiar, digital noise reduction or DNR is used by these studios to smooth out the image, which some people say gives it a more pleasing presentation. But in reality, all that digital noise reduction tends to do is remove detail from the image. And particularly with movies that were shot on film, such as Blade, it can remove film grain, which, I mean, it depends what side of the fence you're on, but I prefer that not to be in my 4K discs because I, I would like that film grain intact. It tends to be very controversial because some people love a particularly smooth 
image. And I recently did a review for the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is another Warner Brothers release. And that had quite a lot of digital noise reduction in certain parts. I don't like it, but a lot of people do. So it's going to come down to personal preference. It is present here in Blade, but it's not as bad as other releases. It's only in certain sequences. So for example, in the Bloodbath rave sequence, there's hardly any DNR to my eye that's being used there. But then in the sequence just shortly after, which is set in the morgue, where the crispy vampire comes back to life, uh, there's quite a lot of digital noise reduction there. So it does fluctuate and it's not consistent. There is an example here of DNR as well. This is the scene where Frost is meeting with some of the other vampire elders. And you can see it in the skin tone of a lot of these characters in this sequence. You can also see it in the reflections in the glass table itself. So you can see that some of the lights that are reflected in the table, they have been smoothed out. Uh, you can see it in the, the papers on the table and in the suits of some of these men. So in some scenes it's very present and in others it's not, so it is quite inconsistent in that regard. There's only really one more thing to talk about in regards to video on this 4K release, and that is the use of CGI visual effects. Now, this movie is from the late 90s, and let's just say, to put it kindly, that the effects do not stand up. In fact, they stick out like a sore thumb in this movie. Fortunately, this film isn't filled to the brim with CGI visual effects because at the time they were very expensive. So there's only a few sequences. There's one which involves a sunrise and vampires in a sunrise. That particularly looks very bad. And then towards the climax of the movie, there is some really bad CGI as well. But this is unavoidable. You know, that's the source material. The only way they could make that look better is if they went back and redid the CGI, which is probably never going to happen. So let's just talk about the audio on this release. And funnily enough, like with some of my other recent reviews, there really isn't that much to say because the audio is pretty damn good. Blade has a Dolby Atmos track and everything is crystal clear. The dialogue is not obscured at all. The sound effects sound amazing. They're really crunchy, particularly all of the fighting sequences. Uh, Blade's shotgun sounds absolutely amazing. And in that opening bloodbath sequence, which I'm guessing, like with me, it's probably one of your favourite sequences in the movie. That just sounds amazing. The soundtrack in Blade is comprised of rave music and some hip-hop instrumentals, and this sounds amazing on the Atmos track, so I don't have anything to complain about at all with regards to sound, so it gets full marks from me. In conclusion, this is a very good upgrade when compared to the older Blu-ray. So if you're a fan of Blade, I would definitely recommend picking this 4K release up. The picture quality has a noticeable increase in detail. Obviously, unfortunately, there are some issues with DNR, but it's very minimal and it's only in a few sequences. For the majority of the film, I had no issues at all. And then the sound to top it off is amazing. So all in all, this is thoroughly recommended. It's probably not going to blow you away. It's not a reference quality disc, so I wouldn't use it to show off your system. But again, if you're a fan of Blade, I would say this is essential. Thank you very much for watching this 4K review of Blade. I'll be doing more 4K reviews very soon, so do let me know if there's a particular 4K release you would like me to review on this channel. Oh, and of course, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. It would mean a great deal to me, and you would hear about these videos as soon as they get uploaded. If you want to stick around on the channel, just click one of the videos on screen now. I particularly recommend my top five 4K Blu-ray video, and I do also have one on whether 4K is worth it or not, so do go and check those out. I'll be back very soon, so until then, stay well and keep watching great movies.